Okay, and now we've got the brackets mounted to the motors. You know the wires are nice and well strain relieved. The motors, the brackets are on the same side as the wires. We are ready to put them in the chassis. So here's the chassis. Um, and there are two pieces. One has a square rectangular, sorry, rectangular hole. Uh, this is the top side of the car. So if you look at the car, you can see the top side has a rectangular hole for this servo motor. So we're going to set the top side aside and we are going to uh, take the paper off from the bottom plate. Looks a lot nicer that way. Um, the best way to do that is instead of breaking your fingernails off, um, sometimes it's easier to get it started with a nice sharp knife. So there you go, so you get it started like that, comes off a lot easier. So go ahead and take the paper off both sides, as we'll do it both uh, for both plates at this time. Um, and, then, uh, and then we'll mount the motors. Alright, we now have the bottom plate and we are ready to install the motors. Doesn't matter which side. So basically, <coughs> we are going to take the motors as we had laid them out. We're going to mount them to the top side of the bottom plate with a couple of screws that came with. We're just going to put them through here, get them started. Now I'm just going to put them down loose right now. I'm not going to tighten them super hard. I want to make sure we don't have wires trapped underneath the case or the bracket. So the wires are nice and loose here. Um, and we are going to put a wheel on. So you can see inside the wheel there uh, is a shape that matches the motor shaft. So let's go ahead and match those shapes up and then just put the motor on like that. And now you can see um, that there is some play in this. And you really want the uh, motor to be, the motor shaft to be perpendicular.